So in this video, I'm going to do the first steps of turning this azalea into a bonsai. So if you're new here, it's you and Ellery here making bonsai in Australia, and I do make a lot of videos such as this, so I do actually have a couple of videos where I've made other azaleas, so I'll leave a link to one of those above. But if you're into this kind of content, please hit that subscribe button and hit the little bell symbol so that you're notified with my future videos as I release them. So, first things first, I'm just going to try and take this piece out of it pot. Alright, okay. right, so as is typical with azaleas, there's um, quite a, a dense and matted root structure. Um, so I'm just going to start raking away at the top of the soil. Just to see if there's much of a nabari to work with. Now before I go um, too much farther, um, it's not going to be easy to rake away the, the root mass, so I'm just going to get rid of some of the foliage. Um, just so I can see what I'm working with clearer. So I'm just going to be choosing some of these branches that are kind of coming off a bit too far out. So that one there, it's got this one just above it, if I do try to decide to use that branch. There's another one at the back here which is really thick and just kind of comes out to the side. So I'll remove that just above another little shoot. Now I'm not too sure where I'll whittle it down to in terms of height, but there's another big branch at the back here which a lot of other branches in this location and this one is really thick so I'll just try and bring that one back as well and now I'll just bring some of the length back from some of these really leggy leggy branches A little bit easier to, to get in there now. So you can see, as with the typical nursery stock, um, that they've repotted this in the past. So yeah, normally they just do a bit of a sleeve potting. As you can see where I've raked away the more looser soil from the outside of what used to be that root ball. Um, so this is where it used to be in a much smaller pot before it got put into this one. Um, so these roots are really, really dense. Um, that hasn't been kind of, it hasn't had a root pruning before, so I'm um, just going to get in here and uh, cut this away just to just to save me ages of raking. I know there's going to be a, a dense root mass um, near the bari or where on surface roots, so I can risk cutting off the base of this root ball. So now, just um, yeah, reverting to trying to wait, break away the uh, top soil and some of the finer top surface roots just to get to where I can find some thicker ones. So there's no really prominent um, surface roots that I can find so I'm just going to keep um, where there's a lot of these fine ones coming out and over time they'll all kind of mat and get a lot thicker. So I'm going to start looking at what kind of um, branches I'm going to be maintaining. So it's quite messy at this point. You can even see um, there's a little branch at the back there which is kind of moving in between these two large branches and out here. Um, and it's kind of fused to that joint. So there's quite a few of these um, really thick branches just coming straight in from down below, below here. Um, and I kind of want to use as many of the smaller kind of, you know, branches with more movement in them as I can. So I'm going to get rid of this one. Now I'm just going to get back here as well and remove this one in the back. Um, it's another one that's just kind of sticking up really thick um, and once you're moving and there's a couple other branches coming off right next to it anyway so get rid of that one. This one here which is really thick is a lot more horizontal so I may use that one in future 
Um, but that one I just cut off. It's yeah, right below this one here, which nice movement and it's nice and thin. Now this one, which is coming off on the side, actually comes from the trunk right behind where I pruned that one off. So um, I'm going to have to see how I go if I want to keep that one. Now, I'm not sh sure yet what's going to be the front, but I'm thinking that side there has a lot of um, potential flair to it. But I think I'm just going to have to try and whittle away some of these obvious branches I don't want before I make too much of a decision. Um, so there's this branch at the back here, which is kind of fused into this lower branch. So I'm going to try and cut this off. Um, see how I can go. Right, so I'm going to try and cut this back flush to to the branch. Um, which means I'm kind of removing part of the, the branch I've just removed that was kind of fused into this little branch, but um, yeah, it's kind of weird having it <laughs> fused in there. Now it looks like it's kind of, you know, coming out of the, the trunk from this location there, whereas if you look at it from the back there, you can see it's um, actually coming from here and moving all the way out there. So. Um, it's an interesting feature which I'm not sure if I'll keep indefinitely, but definitely use it for now. So I've just pruned this um, this leader back to this one, just so I can get a bit more um, taper and ramification on that. Um, I'm not sure if that'll necessarily be leader, but it's definitely going to be one of the primary branches. And there's a bunch of branches coming out in the back here, all around the same kind of location. So just pruning back one of those, just to kind of start to open things up a little bit. So yeah, you can kind of see with all of the, um, just with all of the branches coming out from there, it's really thick down here, you start to get some, some inverse taper. So I really want to kind of eliminate that and um, you know start having a lot more thickness growing in the trunk branches coming off the trunk further up to even it out a little so I'm trying to decide which of these other big ones we'll get rid of and I think I'm just gonna go this long one so I would considered um, uh, bringing it back slightly just to allow for some back budding but I've got plenty of other branches still to work with so I'm gonna just get rid of this in here that's sticking up and just dead twig and this branch in here um, it's coming out just above where this more horizontal one is um, there's just a lot of branch structure in here so get rid of that one just to open it out a bit more there's another couple of branches coming from the same location back here so I'll just get rid of that longer one Trim it up just in preference to this smaller little branch back here. And so that's where I'm envisioning it as the front for now. So still a lot more kind of you know room to grow, but I want to kind of stop having so many, you know, reduce the branching down a little bit further. So there's three branches coming off on this side, um, one from that primary trunk, one from this side branch. So I'm just going to cut off the two from that side. This part here I don't need. Come on with the branching further out here. Quite difficult to, to kind of work with this one given the yeah, the kind of inverse taper and I'm trying to angle it um, to avoid that for now. But um, yeah, we need a lot more growing. Um, hopefully get this one here as the, the new leader. Um, and then having this um, this branching out here, so forming a, a few different branch pads over there with a bit of time. So we'll just quickly if 
trim these back a little bit more just to get some ramification. So yeah, still a long way to go with this one. Um, we need to yeah get a lot more vigor growing in here just to, to kind of smooth out some of the um, you know the branches and get a bit better ramification. So. For now, I'm just going to put this back in a training pot. So look, I hope you enjoyed this video or took something from it. If you have, then please hit that like button and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified of my future videos as I release them. But look, thanks for your time today. Enjoy. Bye.